always fresh because there's, it's just so thick. There's always something new to hear. You never are cease to be amazed by the piece. Regardless of where you're doing it, sometimes you do it with a smaller force, a, a bigger force, a bigger room, a smaller room. Um, you just hear something new every single time. And you, you find yourself being surprised at it constantly. Like, oh, I never heard that. Or, oh, wow, did that eliminate that word just brilliantly? I can't believe I haven't heard that before. It just never ceases to amaze. The first time I ever did it was with a ballet company. So I still see the movement and it informs what I'm hearing around me. And I forget once in a while some of the moves. And then I hear, you know, like, oh, yes, they did that, that move there. That makes perfect sense. And the audience is always so up for Carmina Brana. It is such a pleaser in the fact that it is huge and big and fun and can be body and can be just entertaining and heartfelt and all these things at the same night that I think everybody on the stage and everybody in the audience really feeds off of the energy of each other. I think it's a very special night of, of, of music, no matter where you are. It, it just, it never gets old. And so I always think that it's just a real, I'm very flattered. I'm very humbled and flattered. Coming back to the Ann Arbor Symphony is a treat to come back because I think it's really special when you've made connections um, with the conductor and with some of the players. It, it, it's a very special thing and you feel like you're kind of in the club. You know what I mean? <laughs> you feel like you're kind of in the club. It's very rare anymore that I go to a job where I don't know at least one or two other people. It's just, it's a wonderful feeling to make music with people that you've run into before on the roads. We're a very nomadic group of people, and when you have that familiarity, you just all kind of exhale a little bit and go, oh, this is going to be a good weekend.